Inside a refugee camp for the families of IS, a young Australian is in a dire situation. I have two kids, I have a son, he's two and a half years old and a daughter, she's six months old. Mm. My daughter is very malnutrition and she's like anorexic, very skinny. This 24 year old refuses to reveal her identity, but it's believed she's Zara Duman, the first of Australia's so-called jihadi brides. She left Melbourne in 2014 to live under the Islamic State group. At first, Duman used social media to praise IS and urge others to join her. But this woman says she had a change of heart. I didn't want to be there anymore. For two years I wanted to live. Um, but nobody understands that you cannot leave that place without money. And no money is allowed to be sent in. So you're kind of left in just a hole. Sarah Duman and her children lived the last months of their IS lives in these villages along the Euphrates corridor. With little food, under constant attack, and with the end of the road just down there in Baguz. This mother and her children were part of an exodus of 30,000 IS family members. They were taken from a war zone to a refugee camp on the back of trucks. It was raining on us, there was no blankets, it was freezing. I have my daughter, I didn't have a blanket for her, she's six months old, she was cold. I was just making her warm with my body heat, you know? Now, she says her daughter can't get the treatment she needs. And then you come to this, people treating you like you're, you're worse than an animal here, you know? At the end of the day, we have, we're, we're human, we have rights. She wants to come home. I want to go back to my country, you know, I'm an Australian citizen and I think I have, you know, not just me, my, my kids have a right to at least treat it like normal kids. They have placed their children in this horrendous position. Now they have to take responsibility for those decisions to join up with terrorists who are fighting Australia. Kurdish authorities have been overwhelmed by the IS families. The camps are particularly bleak places for the young or sick. Scores of children have already died, including the newborn son of another jihadi bride, British woman Shemaima Begum. The Kurds want Western help and say Australia needs to step up and take back its citizens. Australia and the other countries have a moral duty to find a solution for these terrorists. More IS family members are coming out of Baguz as the US-backed coalition continues its offensive. It's possible three more young Australians are still there, the surviving children of extremist Khaled Sharouf. Adam Harvey, ABC News, Kamishli, North East Syria.